seven years, Botox Cosmetic has dominated the market here in the U.S. as the only FDA-approved injectable cosmetic muscle relaxant. Well, now there is an alternative. The FDA recently approved a second injectable muscle relaxant called Disport, and as of this month, it's available at some doctor's offices. But just because there is another option, is it the better option? Dr. Steve Jepson says not necessarily. We're going to break down these two products, and really right. there's some hype surrounding Disport just because it's new, right. correct? Because it's new, and, and people have kind of been waiting for a competitor because the idea is a competitor helps marketplace. But, you know, I think a lot of us are kind of taking a wait and see attitude with it. Um, it's very similar to Botox. It kind of works by the same way. Um, but for now, I'm kind of sticking with Botox. Are you? Yeah. Let's break down the two then. Botox, we've talked about it before. Kind of review what happens well, with the whole Botox injection process. Botox, number one cosmetic procedure in the world. Number one procedure that we do at our office. Very popular, very safe. Inject into muscles that are causing wrinkles in your face and it relaxes the wrinkles and the muscles go away. The most common area to do it, and I've talked about it on the show a couple of times before, is right here in the mm -hmm. middle of the brow. You make that mad look, and I actually can't do it very well because <laughs> I, I Botox myself. <laughs> True confession. Uh, um, and, but you make that mad look right in the middle of your face, it goes away, and it just kind of makes you not look mad. It relaxes, it opens up your eyes. You can also kind of do it in the crow's feet around your eyes so those wrinkles out there go away, the wrinkles in the forehead go away. So it's a nice way to kind of very quickly get rid of wrinkles and make yourself look younger and more, more refreshed. And still a very natural look. I mean, we wouldn't know you had Botox. Com had completely you natural us. look. And if your needle's scared, yep. look at this. So I brought a needle. That's the needle that we use for Botox. I mean, basically, it's smaller than a, than a sewing needle. That's teeny. And so it's a, it's a tiny injection. It really doesn't hurt. It's very safe. It's the most common thing that we do. People love it. And so Botox is big. Now, Dysport's come along, and Dysport does pretty much the same thing. The thing, the, the reason that I'm kind of holding off on Dysport right now is it tends to spread a little bit more through the muscle mm -hmm. and so consequently you have a, a higher risk of it moving into a muscle you might not want it to move into. In that situation you might be, get some drooping especially around the eyelids, especially in the, the forehead area. So you'd lose some effectiveness perhaps in the area you wanted to target and it would spread out to the surrounding right. facial area. And the other, you know, one thing that really worries people about Botox is that they don't want to look too plastic. Right. They don't want to look too relaxed. And my concern with Dysport is that that could happen a little bit more commonly because the, the it's going to spread out a little bit more and make you look kind of Stepford white wife-ish, whereas you want to kind of have that natural look, still be able to kind of move, right. but have those wrinkles go away and look more refreshed. I would say that's probably one of the number one concerns with Botox. You don't want to look Stepford wife-ish, right. for lack of a better description, and, and that's kind of the concerns surrounding Dysport. And I, and I like Botox because it's more precise. Mm -hmm. And you know, Dysport isn't new. Dysport's been in Europe for the last 10 years. Um, it's only new to the United States because of our FDA approval process takes so long. And in Europe, Botox is still preferred five to want and that speaks volumes to me as right. an injector physicians over there have have had that option for 10 years and they have still chosen Botox so 85% of Europeans who get this injection still choose Botox over Dysport and so that's another reason that I'm pretty much sticking pricing difference pretty much the same okay. what's kind of nice right now though is Allergan's celebrating their seven-year anniversary of their FDA approval by offering everybody a $50 rebate on their Botox at oh. select offices so Botox really is isn't as much as I think a lot of people think to inject this area right in here typically costs about $200. Right now with Allergan's $50 rebate, you can try it out for $150 just right in there. Relax that, see whether or not you like it. And if you do, it lasts for about three to five months and it's something that then you can continue doing repetitively if you like the effect that it has. Okay, that rebate available through the company and of course the procedure available through Dr. Jepson and his staff at UDMPC. Information on your screen and also on the Studio 5 website if you'd like to call and take advantage of that discount by making an appointment. We'll have all of that information at studio5.ksl.com. Thank you.